Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Endless Legends Shifters. A bit relaxed, really, at the moment. Ooh. Who are these guys? Enemy roving army. Couple Carmen. So are these guys. Alright, so the Dread Knights have expanded a little bit. These guys are now expanded to this area. I need to get some settlers out at some point, but I get the impression that I am actually going to be tagging a lot of territory from these guys through violence. I'm in the middle. It's not necessarily the greatest. Probably to my advisory to have a look what's in here. Pity dust and a pearl. Take that. Pearls are useful, because with pearls... I get the ability to build my expansion of my cities inside is dedicated on the building of pearls more than anything else. So it's in my interest to try and get these uh, more and more pearls so I can build more and more expansions so I can rebuild the city. Yeah, well, I'll worry about that when I actually want to get around to doing it. Yeah, well, I'm not actually producing either of those. I am producing titanium, at least. Right. Go on the alloy. Set the seekers. To food. Yeah, let's carry on with that for now. Can you... Engage that enemy to give yourself some more exploits. Roaming reinforcements. Yeah, fine. I'll have that fight. Uh, start ready to fight. Okay, I am going to spread these guys out just a little bit more so that they can maximize their charge. Get him hard. Interesting positioning. So 43 damage is pretty good. 42. So you should move up, get a kill. Which means this guy will probably charge all the way over to the other side of the map and hit him for one point of damage. No damage received whatsoever. Some, you see it's spreading out and affecting different units. Make these your target, if you please. You attack that one, you attack that one. So just get a little bit of movement involved, so we just get that little bit of extra attack bonus. So my hero should engage these. That's a kill. You're going to just do a standard fight, exchange damage, pretty good. You attack, you attack, you attack. It's a really weird kind of strategy that basically involves my units never actually engaging the people they're stood next to, but running across the battlefield to do vast amounts of damage to people far away from where they actually stood. 41 points of damage to the kill. You should probably finish those guys off with that strike. So apparently there's enough of them left that one of my units has to go up and go, because <laughs> they had a point variation of health. 35 XP, nice. Gained another, oh, very nice. So he's actually leveled up now with that little bit of extra violence. Movement speed, vision, better looting. Given that we're at what we're out here doing, is looting. Hero skill, two of recovery costs, is we will carry on with the looting. Thank you very much. You got any movement left? Yeah, a couple or oh, two of nine. Wow. Um that a ruin? Yes. Um diplomacy. Higher number of cities. Common frontier. Global global score. Pitying. Higher number of cities. Higher global score. Let's spend a little bit of point to send you a compliment. Just, you know, because we can. Uh, it would be too pity about me. I've um, got a surprising amount of power available, actually. 
Right, all the units to kind of move at the same time. Speaking of which, here we're grabbing me some more pearls. Silix. These are slow growing elementals, heavily affected by dust. Silix guard the great underground farms where crystal is grown and nurtured, promising ones are blessed with intelligence and life. Huh. Facets of a sort, then. But I want pearls. That's what I'm here for. Look how far these guys have grown. Pearls, 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 pearls. Okay, that's kind of pretty little bit of animation as he waved his arms around. More turns for this. Can actually build a sky fin now. Support. Hmm. I might look at building one of them later. I'm trying to work out if I actually get them to form up. Yeah. Democratic promotions coming through, all sorts of other bits and pieces. Let's carry on. Got any movement left? Yes, you do. Search it. Emeralds, nice. Move up to here. Have a quick look on the resource tree and see what it is that emeralds do. Five dust of a, fifty dust of a pearl. Empire. Emeralds. Fortification and approval. Wine. Just lots of approval. Well, let's make the empire fervent. Because we just get a bonus of dust and growth and everything else. And then we'll head up here. Keep picking off these, uh, these ruins as we go around. Yes, we've got you up here. Yeah, someone else has pacified the haunts. It's fine. I was kind of expecting that someone else would do that since it's actually part in their territory. Yeah, so the haunts were the critters in this region. I believe, yeah, so he's now pacified them. So, pacified them. I really want to get a city down in here. We can get the Citizens of Mercy involved. Probably going to park the city on that bit of upper terrain. Or maybe just actually stick it all the way down on the south coast. Should make it a coastal city. Just the tile things up. Yeah, just actually put it there and just make it just an out, an out coastal city. Rift dice. Well, yeah, maybe. If you can get the titanium and the gold, it will really help. So let's just stick it and stick it down there. No, they don't actually need the titanium because we're already generating it. There's no extra resources up here. So that's black dust, extra food and the rest of it, so probably looking at putting it here. What have you got for us in this ruin? Gladiolin? Okay. It's a strategic resource. Three more pearls. Good to see. Another ruin? Yes it is. While oh, you're wending your way. Boss. Boss are centaurs that live in group herd groupings. They are nomad warriors, resident and uneducated, wearing little clothing and are less well adapted to the cold climate, but still roam far and wire across Origa. Alright, so you are up in that area. So those guys actually have spread out quite a bit, benefiting significantly from not being stuck in the middle. Like me. Really need to grow. Really need to grow. I'm the only one who hasn't. Spending a lot of influence on units right now. Meritocratic promotion. Garrison slots. More army slots. Cheaper armies. Extra accessories on my armies. So I'll worry about that later. One more unit. Four more turns. How quickly can I grow? Ten turns. No. So I've got one here, one here, and I have an army of three over here. Got space for six, apparently. Hmm. I can buy you out. Yes, I can, but it's cheap enough now. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm a full squad of six. So eight turns, I have my army, and I declare war. Which I probably might do in the winter, which is five turns away. You search. Ooh, rare dust. Search the temple ruins with an infantry hero. I wonder where that is. It's fine. So actually, this one we can have a look at. We don't actually have the necessary things for us to have a look at the hero market. Which signs are we producing? No idea how long that would take, but we'll get around to it in the end. Having another hero might be useful. We can have to have him sit in a city, sit, sit in a city, and not do very much. Any ruins worth having a look at? Yeah, well, I've got eight turns before my army is available to me. We might pick up some pearls while we're out here, like that. I don't quite know why a flying unit is using a boat, but I shall question not. Done. Such a pretty game. Such a pretty, 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 pretty. Almost looped all the way around. There's the prize for circumnavigating. Um, it's a shame it's not a tab I can pop up to show me all the list of my armies so I can move between them just a little bit quicker. Wow, that's a lot of movement. That is an impressive amount of movement. And some pearls. No, no, don't do that with it. Let's um, wander over here. We can see search location was worth the effort. It probably was. Okay, generally happy with what's going on over here. All right, so Halianth actually has three villages in it, as does Winchensel. So I think actually, rather than going south to Kaled, we'll be trying to go. Yes, there's three villages in Freyheim as well. What is it you wanted? I haven't talked to you yet. Kidnap brothers, let the right Urox village and destroy it. Interesting. So the ruin. Should have a quicksilver. Luxury resource. 100% XP on unit production. Lots of happiness. Okay. So let's cancel that quest. And. We know what you want. Let's go and find out. Uh, quests, 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 quests. Pin, close. Alright, we need to locate the right Urox village in the next area. That's Wichishal. Find out who had installed the thing, but. First place we're going in there here, and I want to talk to. So we'll go there. Find out what it is you want. So where would be a good place to put a city? Here. Any natural resources? Let's titanium all the way up the end. 
two sets of die. Lakes aren't bad. Hidden springs. Elvis thing, meteor field, some other anomaly. Black dust, die, snowy field, and poor ruins. Rericordia, it's an anomaly. Titanium. I think it's going far north. It's a bit of a distance to travel to get anywhere, but with the axis of the die and the titanium, sticking it in this area. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. I want you to come here so I can talk to those people. In the interim, I want you to come down this way and see if you can find me some more tasty, tasty pearls. Where are you? A life tree. Wow. All the food that produces. Galidris. Oranges of the species are found in a pack of wolves that were driven into this really high tundra after losing a series of fights with the dragon. Infected by dust, their new forms have rendered them indifferent to the coldest environments and seasons. Ice Wog Cavalry. Ooh, pretty heavy. And we've looped. Now, I'd have a mission to find out which one of these contained the people we were looking for, so go and have a chat. What are you building? Another seeker. Okay, good, good. Talk, talk, talk. Some more experience points on my hero. Alright, in the next Empire plan, don't put any influence in the military ministry. Set the economic and population ministry to, to its level minimum one. Not warmongering. Okay. That's quite cheap. And then I want to find out... They're Delvers, aren't they? Yeah. I want to find out what you want. Do check here. You've not leveled up yet. Yeah, there's them, sorry. Winter has started. Minus one on exploration. Let's go to our altar and have a look what kind of blessings we can pop out. City improvements, ice works. Don't have any rivers or sea lakes. Ah, hundredly at striking travel is decorated with plus one population city per rebuilt village that does not apply to converted villages. Spend pearls to change the form of the current turn. Tower of Truth. That's an expansion. Pearl smithing. Armor made of pearls. Yes, that could be interesting. Accessories made of pearls. Let's grab those two. Unlock the blessing of pearl weapons. Unlock the blessing of City improvement. And hopefully, we might pick up some more pearls. In fact, there are some right now. You, new army. There we go. <laughs> so Chapel. No, okay. Plus one port isn't for rebuilt villages does not apply to their villages. So if I then queue that up, that should improve the population. So this is not a time for growing. But that's kind of useful. You get back here. You come over here. Converse with the Delvers. Activate two boosters to prove your wisdom. Well, we can do that pretty quickly. 
effective one more turn. Does that count? Losing a lot of money right now. Which I suddenly just noticed. I suspect it's because I've got plenty of armies out. Minus 49. Okay. I would suddenly lost a lot of dust. Um, that's going to resolve itself when I spaff out my next unit. I think I probably will pacify you. And then have you guys fall back into the city. Six turns of winter we have. Oh yes. Uh, okay. Do that strange maneuver. Grab you some more gems if you please. Don't know why I decided to go back out to sea and then come through again, but so be it. I think we'll find some more pearls. Quite a few about. Have you grown? No, it's just out of the two. That looks like you may have popped out slightly further that way. There's now quite a few up this way. So, wary of getting into combat, so just come over here. Any more pearls and easy reach? No. You join up to that army. We're having a winter war. Magnificent building we can make. Glory of the Empire. That will help greatly. Now we've got a lot of things that need building here. What was it you wanted? Oh, the next policy thing. Don't put any into military. So if I pop the quest up. Reliable ally. Alright, so fair enough. Done. Okay. Alright. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be going to war, in fact, in different common frontier, pitying high number of cities, pitying local school and the rest of it. So I am losing quite badly, but I am going to declare war. It is done. Indifferent war. So, next time, ladies and gentlemen, next time, next time, we will be attacking these guys, the pain mages. Who are they? Who is it I have just declared war on? The Ardent Mages. The Ardent Mages will fear the wrath of the Sky Bats, the LRI, and we will try and claw back some quick growth. So hopefully the idea in the long-term plan is that we will be spitting out the city up here, which will then, we will take the Delvers as a pacified race. We will then be looking at putting a city into West Shortle, Um and then including these guys as a pacified race, so we'll be able to have quite a fair amount of power. So much in the way of interest in this area, and the fact that it's in a god-awful mess. Looks like we will be settling down over here, where we get even more titanium and wine. Okay? So, yeah, so that city will be going over here. So we'll have a select... Have to see, potentially, hopefully, if this goes well, we'll go from having one city over the next few episodes to having five which should be in a much better position where we can carry on with our quest to find 
um, our quests and carry on with the quest at the try and ending. So we really need to get on with getting the influence thing up, which we should be doing soon. All right. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. Hopefully you've enjoyed these few episodes introducing ourselves to Endless Legend, the Shifters DLC. Please remember to like and subscribe.